Hello everyone, welcome to the studio. My name is Karen Margulis and I have a quick tip for you today. Do you struggle with painting grasses? Are your grasses not painterly enough? Do they look like they're fake? You wanna paint believable, natural, expressive grasses? I've got a tip for you. You need to get a grass box. That's right, a grass box. What is a grass box and how do you use it? It's just this. You just get an extra box, you fill it with some hard pastels. Any hard pastel brand will do. These just happen to be a mix of new pastel brand, but any harder pastel will work. The reason why you want hard pastels is you want to be able to create linear marks and not have really thick, heavy marks. You want to have more control over your pastel, over your grass marks, and a harder pastel will allow you to do that. So what do I do? I just make a collection of colors that I think would work really well in grasses of all types. Not just green, but we have our, our dried grasses, so we have some browns and oranges. I throw in some purples and blues just because we want to have a little variety in our grasses. Now the trouble that we often have when it comes to painting grasses is that we make our grass marks too thick and too regular. They're too even, and we end up with a fence of grass, and this just isn't believable. So what we want to do instead is make broken lines. I like to call them lyrical lines. Let me show you for an example how I would approach painting grass. The first thing I do when I paint grass is have wide areas of color to create the dirt. We need the dirt and the grass goes on top of the dirt. So I don't make any linear marks. I'm not really fussy with my mark making in this stage. But then I'm going to take a color, any color will do because I'm going to use a variety, and I'm going to use the top sharp edge of the pastel to create a broken line. So how do we do that? We press down and then we pick up. Press down and pick up so that we have a nice variety in our line. Now, a grass fence would be something like this. And when we do grasses like this, it just creates a visual barrier. It creates a fence, and we really want to have those broken lines. So let's get rid of this and show you some more of these lyrical lines. So just press and release, press and release. The other thing you can do is roll the pastel. So you can take a hard pastel and just simply roll it, and that also will create a really nice painterly expressive broken line. The key to having successful grasses is, not, is having a variety of colors in your grass box, but also changing the thickness of the lines that you create. So if I press down hard to make a thick mark and then release the pressure, I get a finer or thinner mark. I have more variety in the grasses. And I'll just go ahead and try a variety of those colors, creating those dancing lines. I think the best way to paint grasses is to take a deep breath, relax, and let go. The minute we tighten up and we are really concerned about getting perfect grass, that's when we end up with that fence. So just relax, enjoy, create lyrical broken lines, go back to your grass box for a variety of colors, and you are going to have much more natural and believable and painterly grasses. So get yourself a grass box and you'll be happy you did. Thank you.